when is the best time to exercise? Well, the short answer would be when you do. But the long answer, as with everything body related, there's going to be a good time to exercise. You're most sensitive to insulin early in the morning and least sensitive at night, which is why pigging out is best done early in the day. And a corollary to this is it's wise to close the kitchen early. But what about exercise? Well, it's been known for years that exercise performance hits its peak in the late afternoon. You're definitely stronger and more capable. Whether you're more motivated, well, that could be up for debate. But does showing up when you're strongest mean less health benefits or more? This is what a team of researchers from the Netherlands decided to explore as an afterthought. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we find out what time you should work out to get the biggest bang for your buck. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Now, this was an add-on study to a previous study, which looked at whether exercising could help alleviate fat accumulation in the liver of overweight men. Unsurprisingly, they found it can. Three 30-minute workouts, two aerobic and one resistance training a week for 12 weeks moved the needle on liver fat accumulation. But one afternoon while sitting around sipping coffee, someone asked, does the timing matter? Hmm. Now, it just so happened that in their study, some of the participants did their exercise sessions early in the day, between 8 and 10 a.m., while others opted for sessions later in the day, between 3 and 6 p.m. The choice had been made by the participants based on their scheduling and personal preferences. Now, these guys were committed. 98% of them attended all the sessions. And the exercise sessions had been closely supervised, so the amount of exercise that had happened was the same in both groups. Our team decided to crunch the numbers to see if either exercise regimen had created superior body chemistry. Now, they already knew there had been no difference in weight. In fact, to, to be perfectly honest, the amount of weight lost had been a big disappointment. To the participants, at least, their weight hadn't changed, confirming that exercise without dieting won't make you skinny. But there was a difference in body chemistry in both the morning and afternoon exercises. VO2 max, which is a measure of fitness, and muscle strength had improved. The exercises with the most dramatic improvements were the afternoon group. These exercises were definitely stronger and their fasting glucose level was also lower. Mm. I'm not sure the difference was big enough to get excited about. What was profoundly different was the levels of fasting-free fatty acids. In the afternoon exercises, the number plummeted by 122 micromoles. The figure dropped in the morning exercises too, but the drop was a mere 19 micromolar. Maybe you're thinking, well, so what? My doctor doesn't worry about free fatty acids. He or she obsesses about my cholesterol level. Well, when you're insulin resistant, pretty much everything is up. Sugar, cholesterol, triglycerides, branched chain amino acids, and free fatty acids. In fact, the free fatty acids reflect insulin sensitivity. The higher they are, the poorer your response to insulin. In fact, some people think that this is the cause of insulin resistance. So a drop in free fatty acids implies better body chemistry. And in the study, it was clear all parameters investigated were better in the afternoon exercises. So it's safe to say afternoon exercise is superior. So 
get on your bicycle and do it if it works for your scheduling and personality. But if it doesn't, no worries. For many people, me included, earlier in the day is more doable. Exercise at the time that works for you. You don't have to time exercise just right to benefit. In fact, you don't even need to exercise as hard as you might think to enjoy some of those benefits. Just standing up at regular intervals can get the juices flowing, improving deliveries and creating better body chemistry and better health. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry or need a little help getting your body chemistry on track? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who is a little obsessed with optimizing their life? Share this video with them so that they know the perfect time to hit the gym is in the afternoon. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, Small things can make a big difference.